hello welcome back to my channel or if you're new here my name is Jess we talk about all things styling so timeless capsule wardrobe pieces alongside travel beauty and a little bit of lifestyle with some weekly vlogs as well so if that's your cup of tea don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and check back for more if you're returning then obviously hello welcome back today's video as you can see from the title is going to be talking through three of my favorite spring trends that I would consider to be really timeless great additions to your wardrobe and how I'm personally wearing them now if you want to check back to my video where I talk about loads of different timeless trends I'll leave it linked down below along with my year-round capsule wardrobe but this one's going to be focusing on three specific trends I've really noticed are having a moment right now the first is double denim which is one of my personal favorites and I wanted to include this because I think it's a really great trend that can be perceived in so many different ways so whether that's wearing your denim mix and match with colors whether that's wearing the same pieces if you want shirts and jeans shorts and jackets like there's so many ways that you can wear double denim so i thought i'd give you two of my favorite spring ones there's also pajama trend which is another one that is absolutely fantastic i love the pajama trend i think it's great i personally wear pajamas as outerwear quite a lot of the time because i think they just look really great and you can find some really high quality pieces but I also wanted to share with you some of my favorite pajama style that are actually not pajamas and how I've been wearing them dressed up and dressed down. And the final one, it will come as no surprise, is leopard print. Now we all know I'm a bit of a leopard print fiend. I love it, I think it's great. It's such a timeless classic. I'm wearing it right now. And I just think it's a great one to incorporate into your wardrobe. So I wanna show you some easy ways to incorporate those pieces that feel a little bit less intimidating because if you're anything like me and you're not really a print or color kind of gal, it can be quite intimidating to add those really bold prints into your wardrobe. So I just wanted to show you some easy ways to do that. But without further ado, we're gonna get straight into the video and I'm gonna share with you three spring trends and how I'm wearing them. Okay, we have outfit number one. This is what it looks like. We're gonna ignore the tripod. I'm filming this for Instagram at the same time, but I thought I would show you the pajama trend and just show you two really easy ways to incorporate it into your wardrobe. These are actually pajamas, but I have the trousers and the shirt and I wear them as outerwear. I don't wear them to bed, but they're really nice and comfortable. Great for the spring summer months because they are just very easy and comfortable, very cute. I love the fact it's got the small drawstring waist as well. I'll leave them linked if you're interested. And then I've just gone for some black sandals on my feet, blazer, t-shirt, and my Gucci bag. To be honest, exactly the kind of thing I would wear with tailor trousers or jeans or pretty much any bottom to be honest with you but I just really like how they look with the pajama trousers I think it just dresses them up quite nicely and makes them look a little bit different like this is a trend that I can definitely get on board with and one that I've worn all of last year and I think a little bit of the year before as well but these are gorgeous. I'm going to show you a pair in a minute which are actually just trousers. They're not at all pajamas, but they look like the pajama trend. But these ones, definitely pajamas. And I'm really here for it. I really like them. I think they're gorgeous. Okay, number two with the pajama trend. So these are actually linen trousers from Arquette that are striped. I love them so much at this time of year because they're so comfy, especially as we get into summer and it starts to become heat wave season. Just chucking on a simple top with these is 10 out of 10. So I've just gone for a black t-shirt. This is might be the energy one so it's got a big logo on the back if you want to check it out it's my own collection from a sustainable brand and then I've just gone for a black bag black sandals again and it's just so nice and comfortable I would say you could probably chuck docks on with this as well on a leather jacket depending on obviously the weather but this is how I'm personally liking to wear it and I'm going on a holiday this week so I think it'll be really nice to just wear this kind of thing to the airport or something and then I can equally wear these pieces out and about when I'm there too we know by now that I'm a sucker for double denim I just absolutely love anything double denim it just it lives in my soul rent free so I've just gone for a really oversized denim jacket with some jeans for this one which I would arguably say is a really good way to get into the trend if you are someone who maybe really likes it but you're a little bit scared of it I know that shirts and jeans together can be quite an intimidating combination this is a nice way to just break it up with a little bit of something else and start your way into the trend so I've just gone for a big white scrunchie which you can't really see but I do really like it it's just like a chunky little scrunchie in the back there then I've got my Gucci bag on and my docks. So very, very simple, very easy, but a good way to start yourself into the double denim trend. And the other outfit I'm gonna show you in a minute is also a really good way to get into the trend without it being too much, because I know that double denim sometimes can be like shirt and jeans and people can be a bit like, ah, too much denim, but I promise you it can be done in moderation too. Another great option if you're a little bit intimidated by double denim is mixing the color palette. So I really like styling bleach denim with creams and then alternatively you could 
could do like faded black with jet black. It's just a really nice way to mix up the color palette a little bit and not feel like it's just all one color and a bit intimidating. Like it's still the Canadian tuxedo vibes, but a little bit different. So I've just gone for this men's Levi shirt, which is really nice and bleached, styled with my weekday row denim jeans and then these little cute mules, which are quite old from Warehouse. They're the JW Anderson dupes that I just really love. And then my little song want bag as well. So a very easy dress down understated vibe, but really works if you're wanting to do double denim and don't really know how to get into it. This leopard print jacket is honestly one of my favorite things ever, but I couldn't do a trend video without talking about leopard print. It just, it had to happen. So I thought I would show you different ways that you can incorporate the trend without just going like all in on a t-shirt or trousers, because I think a lot of the time there's, you know, leopard print camis or leopard print jeans, etc., which I love, don't get me wrong. But I think sometimes you can feed into the trend really nicely with statement pieces like a coat, which really easily work over active wear if you're just running to the gym or want something comfortable. I've styled mine with my Ugg Tasmans. This is kind of a classic running errands vibe for me, although sometimes it is with a jumper if it's a bit chilly outside. Really simple outfit that I wear very, very often. Like all of my friends will vouch for the fact this is a very me outfit. <laughs> And then this is the last outfit. So incorporating leopard print a little bit differently and wearing my Damsa Madagilo, which we all know that I'm absolutely obsessed with. I love it so, so much. It's been worn quite a few times, but I seem to have just not taken pictures when I've worn it. So you've probably seen it on Instagram a few times in different ways, but I really love just styling it over like a white or black t-shirt and then jeans. Okay, the camera just died. So we're doing the last little bit on here because the other camera batteries are also dead, but I really like it because I think it's a really gorgeous way to incorporate a bit of leopard print, add a statement piece to my wardrobe and it just looks really cool. So I've gone for a brown bag just to tie in the browns of the gilet, black jeans, and then my dock. This is just a pretty classic look at how I wear it usually. And I just think it's a gorgeous, timeless piece that I think is going to be around for a really long time in my wardrobe. And it just screams spring outfits to me, to be honest. That's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing the three spring trends and how I'm wearing them. I really enjoyed putting this video together and just challenging myself to really look into my wardrobe Find those timeless trends that I think are going to be round for year upon year that you can invest into that will be great to probably make with things you've already got as well. Because if you're anything like me, you've already got those denim pieces, you've got maybe leopard print, you've already got those pyjama trousers, to be honest. We've all got pyjama trousers. I think there's a bit of a fine line between ones that are like really appropriate for outside and like actually just really are pyjamas. But once you nail it, it's really great. And there's so many styling options with all of those pieces. Everything will be linked down below if you want any of the links. Although if they're old pieces, similar will be linked and yeah I guess that's the end of the video if you've got anything you'd like to recommend for the future whether it's styling specific items or trends or anything like that let me know in the comments down below and I'll add it to my list don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you loved it subscribe and hit the notification bell to know every time I upload and I'll see you in my next video goodbye guys